Hello everyone. So today we are going to start with a new chapter of civics, chapter number four, named as key elements of government. So let us start. In this chapter, we are going to see uh, the key elements which uh, influence the working of the gov democratic government, which are first is people's participation, then the resolution of conflicts, and equality and justice. At the end of the chapter, we will be knowing this three key elements of the government so before starting let us talk about uh, let us see a short story about south africa what happened in south africa so south africa was uh, basically a country is a basically a country which has uh, people of several races and uh, in south africa there are black people who uh, who are uh, who originally belong to south africa okay who are natives of south africa then there are white people who came there and settled over there and then there are Indi Indian people who came there as laborers and traders and who settled over there. So uh, th this is how uh, this is what makes South Africa diverse in terms of races. And la now let us see a small story of Hector Peterson which is given in your textbook and let us see what happens in the story. So uh, there is a term uh, apartheid. Okay, uh, now we all we already know that South Africa had an apartheid government. Now what uh, what apartheid means or what is apartheid government? So it's basically uh, separation on the basis of race, which means the population of South Africa was divided into white, black, Indian, and coloured race. So people were differentiated on the basis of their races. And they were not allowed to mingle with each other. They were not allowed to live near each other or to use common facilities depending on their uh, race, depending on their color. So even the hospitals or uh, the ambulances, uh, the, travel, uh, the travel resources like trains, buses, bus stops, all these things were different uh, or uh, were not allowed to use or... They were good in terms of use when they were used by uh, white people and the bad quality things were provided to the black people or the colored people, right? So even the land, the good part of the land of the country was given to white people and the bad part of the country was given to black people. So this was uh, the racism which was going on depending on the apartheid government in South uh, South Africa. So uh, there is this uh, Soweto named township in South Africa which was a township of uh, black people where all the black people used to live and uh, and uh, Hector Peterson also lived in Soweto. So he was a boy who used to go to school and there was a uh, there was a strike or there was a movement which was there in uh, Soweto which was against an African language. Uh, this African language is a native language or we can say it is a language which was spoken by uh, white people in the country in South Africa. So uh, students uh, uh, Hector Peterson and his classmates they started this movement that they do not want to uh, learn Afrikaans and they were forcefully uh, they were forced to learn this language whereas they wanted to learn their own language which was Zulu. So they did this uh, strike, did this movement, uh, they opposed it and they wanted to learn, uh, learn their uh, own language which was Zulu. But uh, as we know that uh, the, fav like the favor was more over towards the white people, right? So this uh, African police south african police they came and they started uh, protest uh, they started punishing these protesters so they started beating them they started uh, shooting on them and while that there wo there was a gunshot which uh, uh, somehow got hector peterson killed okay so on 16 june 1976 this happened so in history of uh, South Africa this is a very significant day so uh, which uh, resembles the death of uh, Hector Peterson who was a who was a youth who uh, struggled or uh, who participated in the protest against 
African language, which was a significant uh, pro protest against racism. So this happened. So there, I would like to ask you a question. Depending on this, that every year in uh, in June uh, 16, June 16 is celebrated as Dash in South Africa. So find out the answer of this question and let me know. I won't. I will be telling you the answer of this uh, in my coming video. But I would like that you would answer this question before that and also it is not mentioned in your textbook to try to find it out that uh, what is its significance what uh, of june 16 and uh, what is it celebrated as in south africa so yeah finally after uh, all these kind of struggles uh, there was a victory but uh, it was not just a sudden victory uh, there was uh, one more uh, like there was one more organization we can say which was called as african national congress this they the people who uh, struggled or the people who protested against this ap apartheid they were called as african national congress and they ultimately had a lot of struggle they struggled they did all, all more over strikes they did a mass movement for uh, getting uh, they for getting free from this apartheid and uh, a famous leader uh, Nelson Mandela he also uh, he was the uh, leader who support of national African National Congress who supported this movement of getting free of apartheid and uh, finally uh, in Finally, in 1994, South Africa became a uh, democratic country. After all this fight and all this struggle, it became a democratic country where there was uh, no racism, where there was equality for all kind of colors, all kind of people. And all of them got equal opportunities, equal facilities. So not only just India, but there were many countries who struggled for getting their con uh, making their country a democratic country. So here, by this we can see how people's participation plays an important role uh, for getting the freedom or uh, in, in making decisions in the government, right? One of the way uh, of participation which we uh, see in our country on a daily basis is the elections right so election is a basic way in which all people of the country can participate in which what we do is we just elect our representative who is going to represent us and who is going to uh, take our view to the government put our views to the government and make decisions for our betterment right and uh, if we don't like if we don't like the working we can change uh, the government after a period of time in India, we have five years of uh, five years of time uh, time period, right? After five years, we can change the government. So this is one of the way of participating in government. The other way uh, of participating is government by uh, taking interest in working of the government. Now, how we can take take interest in working of the government? That is in one or the other way. Like for example. In 2005, there was a sudden increase in uh, rate of electricity, okay? And uh, people uh, didn't like this. They were not, uh, uh, they were not convinced by this uh, decision of the government. And that is why they expressed, they started expressing their disapproval for uh, uh, this decision which was made by the government. And uh, government tried, the uh, government kept on trying uh, to defend its decision of increasing the prices. But still people didn't listen and finally government had to listen to the people and government withdrew the increase in the price. Government slightly decreased the price. So how we participated, so we can participate by uh, having different social movements like uh, doing strikes, having dharnas having signature campaigns so by all these we can participate even newspapers magazines and tv the, these also play an important role in uh, uh, taking interest in uh, decision making by the government uh, because uh, there are uh, certain news when or so there is certain mass uh, movement which started at a place it can become national over in a over a period of time just because of these kind of mass communicating uh, mediums right 
न्यूज पेपर मैगजीन्स बाय विच ऑल पीपल ओवर नॉट जस्ट नाउ वट इज नॉट जस्ट इन अ कंट्री बट इंटरनेशनली ग्लोबली इशूज कैन बी मेड ग्लोबल बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिकेटिंग मीडियम्स ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन वी कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन डिसीजन मेकिंग बाय द गवर्नमेंट एंड आई होप ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग्स आर क्लियर and we have uh, seen about the first point that how we can participate how participation is a key element of the government now let us discuss the remaining two elements in our next video till then take care of yourself thank you for watching the video and keep learning